Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back finally to this FIFA 21 career mode. I am so sorry it's taken so long. It's been about a couple of weeks since my last one of these. <sighs> yeah, um, took a little bit of a break. Plus, I was helping someone out, and that. I did explain it on in a previous video. Um, so I was sorry for the lack of uploads. Hopefully, you guys understand. But uh, I was going to come back sometime about a few days ago, but I was like, I'm going to take a few more days break and that just so I'm ready, um, so I'm not rushing back into it. Uh, just recorded a Call of Duty, well, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War video, a bit of a mouthful to say. But uh, but yeah, I thought while I'm in the mood for recording and whatnot, and while I'm back doing some recording, I thought, why the hell not bring you some more FIFA 21? So I apologise. But we're gonna leave, we're gonna start from where we left off a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't, if you want to go watch that, guys, make sure you watch that so you get a bit of a refresher. It's been a while since I've actually been on this save. I'll be honest. Um, been a couple of updates since, which is always good. But, but I think the third kits are in this save as well, so I'll have to take a look. But in this episode, uh, we've got the whole of October to get through. We've got Wolves, Spurs, uh, Bruges, Arsenal, Cheltenham, and then Leicester City. Uh, we're going to sim three, play three. The three that I'm going to play is going to be the uh, the Tottenham game, Arsenal and Leicester. And I'm going to sim the Wolves, Bruges and Cheltenham game. So, uh, yeah, we might as well get straight into it. The first game is against Wolves. Just gonna, like As I normally do, just quick sim. Um, just taking a look at... Oh, wow, I forgot how good my team was. Blimey. <laughs> Our lowest rated player is 85 rated, and that's Kenny. I'll take that. But yeah, fingers crossed as well that we can carry on winning. And we do get the win. Uh, Centelez gets the, gets his first goal, I think, for the club. And Dominic Cavalier in, back on the score sheet again. Uh, Leeds won, Manchester United won, and then I think that was Newcastle that beat Sheffield United. I'm not too sure. All right, so let's take a look, shall we? So let's see where that puts us up in the table. That puts us up into third at the moment, but we could go back down to fourth. Which isn't too bad. I'll, I'll still take it. Uh, I was worried that you were thinking about replacing me. New faces at the club, stories in the papers. Ah, no, you're doing great, mate. You just scored for us. Why? He's 88 rated as well. Flipping heck. Not too bad, is it? But uh, there's not really much left to do. Of course, we've got the Gareth Bell, who's a cam. We've got Holgate in there as well. But just, oh, that team. That team is so good. But yeah, we're going to see what to the next game, which is against uh, Spurs. If you guys enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe as well to the channel. And uh, yeah, let's get into our first played game of today's episode. It's going to be a bit weird getting back onto, onto the field and, and whatnot. I'm looking forward to it. Can we get three points? So then, for the first time in a good couple of weeks, let's take a look at our opponent's lineup. They've got Harry Kane up front, and Dombele at Cam. Greenwood out on the right hand side there, so Manchester United lost a very good player. Uh, Stefan Bergwijn, Zakaria, Winks, Regeron. Uh, Dejene, <coughs> Konate, Matt, Do Matt Doherty, and then in goal, as per usual, Hugo Lloris. Oh, I'm going to be rusty, but, you know, here. we might as well try it and get three points here. Do I think I'm going to get three points? No, possibly not. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Like I say, it's been a good while since I've actually played FIFA as well. been a few days. I've been doing Manchester United career mode every now and then, but... I haven't actually technically been home for for a while, but yeah, well, been helping someone out. But uh, we get the ball back straight away, and let's see if we can come away on the counter attack here. Mataro Martinez passes it to Digne, and now forward to Richardson. Can Richardson gets back on the score sheet? Yes, he can. One nil to Everton. Woo! I'm back, baby. I am back. Mr. Richardson with the first goal for us in a couple of weeks. This team is amazing, and uh, I cannot complain whatsoever. Also, as well, the third kits are carried into this save now. So, I might start using my third kit a little bit more. But, uh, we might as well keep the blue one on for now. It was a lovely finish as well with his uh, left foot, his weaker foot, in all fairness. But already, seven minutes in for the number seven, scoring his fifth goal. Richardson puts us 1-0 ahead against Spurs. And Rodri with a fantastic challenge there. Play through ball to Lotaro Martinez. He still holds on to it. Can he get two? Oh, he can't. And that was that was just unlucky. I think is that handball? Yeah, it's handball. Not much Martinez could have done about it. But 15 minutes in, we are the stronger of the sides, which is lovely to see. It just means that I haven't lost my touch whatsoever. But uh, you know what? 
my looks like. I'll probably end up losing this for like 5 1. Corner kick played in. The end product just wasn't there. Right, can't the attack looks on here. here. Options available. So I wait for the run of Richarlison. Playing through. Wasn't the greatest of passes there, unfortunately. Triangle it into the middle. No. Not a good cross whatsoever, I'm afraid. And uh, we give away a throw in. But that's fine. But with a few minutes to go before half time, we're still ahead by one goal to nil. And fingers crossed we can take this lead into the half time break. See the through ball of which see, see the run of a challenge just to say. Cunha. Oh, that was a weak shot. It was weak. But we're all good here. We're on the front foot. Towards Latour Martinez. And no. Not good enough, I'm afraid. But we're going to make some substitutions anyway. And fingers crossed we can hold on to this 1 0 lead. Moise Keane got the pace for this. He does. It's a handball. No, not handball. Oh, five minutes to go. I'm going to keep you with me here. Well, the clock is ticking down. The Tottenham fans know it's near the end of the game. Can the players respond? Just listen to the noise. Oh, no. Okay, that's going out. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, it's, we've got to be smart about this here. It's a terrible pass, but that's fine. It's two minutes out of time. Let's not make any mistakes. Let's stay strong at the back and through midfield as well. We've got a decent midfield as well with Rodri as that supporting sort of midfielder. Soler, here we go. This could be a chance for Tottenham here. Oh, we got away with it. 1-0. I will take that. Oi, oi, oi. Ooh, that was tough. But I'll take it. Three, All three points away. And uh, we'll get into the next game against, I think it was Club Bruges in the Champions League. So I'll just skip ahead to that now. Right, so for our second simmed game of the episode, we've got an away game against Club Bruges in the UEFA Champions League. I'm going to use my second team because um, I think, you know, our team here is good enough. Uh, so we've got Iwobi, Keane, uh, Bernard, Bale, Davies, Bellingham, Santeles, Holgate, Godfrey, Williams, and then Kaylor Navas. So, as per usual, we'll kick quick sim it. Hopefully we can get three points. That's the plan anyway. Ah, no, we don't. Okay, that's not what we wanted to see. We lose 3-2. That's not good. But uh, should be alright though. We should still be fairly comfortable. Uh, we're going to get into the next game against Arsenal. But before we do that, there we go. We're five points away from top spot. Hey, hey, hey. We need to try and keep some momentum going forward. Uh, let's take a look at the Champions League tabled just now. Wants to load. There we go. And Champions League. Let's have a look. There we go. Currently signed second. Uh, Roma's not doing very well, are they? Uh, so we're halfway through. Let's have a look at the other group stages then. Uh, we've got Manchester United uh, currently top in their group. Uh, Bayern Munich. And uh, it's looking like they're going to go through anyway. Barcelona currently leading. Man City also. Uh, we've got Marseille at, at the top. Liverpool currently on beaten, which is, uh, you know, expected. PSG, oh, that looks like it's going to be... That's a close group, you know. Dinamo Zago getting three points against uh, PSG. Very surprising, in all fairness. But uh, it's looking like it's going to be a good Champions League campaign. But uh, we're going to sim ahead, though, to this next game against Arsenal. Fingers crossed we can pick up three points. And uh, we've got a transfer for Gordon. Don't think that's going to happen. Although, actually, no, we are looking at selling them. I believe. Yeah, I think we are looking at selling Gordon. We're going to look at selling Gordon, should I say. Can't even speak. 2.6 million. I'm going to see if I can get about 3.5 minimum for him. Start it off at 5. And 3.5. Right, we'll see if we can get that much for him. If not, we might even start just playing him a little bit more. But, uh, but yeah, we're currently sat in third on 20 points. Um, also, I will, sh I will show you as well that you can now use 
the third kit. So I know I said this earlier, um, but yeah, they've they've uh, they're allowing us now to use the third kit. So there's Everton's like a limey sort of green, uh, which is quite nice, and then that is Arsenal's. I quite like that. That's very very nice. But uh, yeah, so hopefully we can get all three points and uh, keep up this good momentum in the uh, Premier League. So then, Arsenal's lineup: they've got Martinelli, Isaac, and Atal up front with uh, Mascarell. Yeah, Mascarell and El Nenny in midfield. And the back five: they've got Saka, Zagadou, Blind, Diop, Cedric, and in goal is Burnt Leno. I'll be honest, that's quite a weak side. I think we could get at least four or five goals here. I mean, I say that, and they'll probably end up conceding four or five goals. But uh, let's wait and see what happens. And fingers crossed, we can pick up three points here and push on for that top spot because I believe that this season we can win the Premier League. But we just need to try and uh, keep our momentum going whenever possible. And we're passing like that, we won't be seeing top four very for very long. Although we're defending like that, we probably will. But yeah, let's try and pick up three points and keep our good momentum going to keep them out. I say that, but it also depends on how good I can defend personally as well. So Isaac, very, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Keep the ball, keep the ball. Oh, El Nenny. Just turned us inside out. Oh dear. Mohamed El Nenny opens the scoring for Arsenal. Not what we wanted whatsoever, unfortunately. His footwork was outstanding, eh? Somehow to keep it away from, I think that was the lit. Right, okay. 14 minutes played and it's 1-0 to Arsenal. It's looking, it's looking like it's going to be almost impossible to try and find an equaliser here. Although, saying that, play it all through. Dominic calvert in with the equaliser just before the stroke of half-time. Just what we needed, ladies and gentlemen. Who we? Just what we needed. Absolutely brilliant. Well, here's the replay. It's a really Just when I was about to put this half behind me, we here? somehow find the equaliser. Leno should have been doing better than that. That's uh, Calvert Lewin's eighth go. goal of the season, and uh, that is just what we needed before half time. But hopefully now we can go ahead and find a go-ahead goal in the second half because I don't think we'll get it in, the, in this half but it's never know okay free kick Ooh, that's fine and uh, is this a red card no no card okay alright who should we bring on let's have a look because I do actually want to make some substitutions. Uh, let's bring on Centellas. Um, bring on Moise Keane and then probably Williams as well. I think that'll work. Bit of a dangerous slide tackle that, I'll be honest. Right, Dan James is standing over it, but I don't think he's the right player. To, although... He might be. Right, probably should have brought on Gareth Bale for this. Come on. He'll have a go here. Well, the free Didn't work. To be a lot That's fine. Straight into the wall. Can he find the net? Oh, no. Okay, block. corner. Will this corner be Ooh, that's fine. So corner it is. Can we convert this corner and get the goal? Dan James floats in towards Rodri. But unfortunately, no. We've got 10 minutes though to try and find this winner. Can we do it? Right, with a minute to go before full time, they have a corner. Can we get the ball and just run up the other end and score? That would be a nice way to end this game, wouldn't it? It could have worked. <laughs> but I think it's going to be a 1 1 draw which and he read it kind of stings a little bit, I'll be honest. Although, hang on, we've got a chance here. Still pushing for what could be a winner. Could play it in. Towards Daniel James. But it can't get all the way through. 
And we've got a chance here. Oh, we've got a corner. We've got a corner right at the end. And over comes the corner. Towards Rodri. Didn't work. Play back to Dan James again. Oh, no, that's just... Ah, damn it. Not what we wanted, but... Although, yeah, we didn't lose, so that's fine. But I'm going to just keep you with me and sim the uh, the next game against Cheltenham. So, uh, hi, how are you all? Chelsea lost, so that's good. And there's a Liverpool versus Man United uh, game coming up. But... For now, we, yeah, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed with that one. I did want to win. But you know what, these things happen. We've got one of our players as well. Yep, that's fine, Gordon. Um, I'm happy with the games you've given me, boss. Yep, proud of you. We're going to play our second team now against Cheltenham. Um, Davies has gone from a centre-back to a cam. That's pretty good. I think he's actually one of our, yeah, he's one of our highest... Like a really high rated player. Well, it's a high rated player. He's looking like he's going to be a good player for us. But uh, we're going to try and get his uh, shooting stats up. So let's go for. In fact, let's just go for balance. I think balance works. So we'll just have to leave it at that. All right, simulate training. Um, I will hopefully as well be doing a Road to Glory series soon. Um, but I will do a vote on that one, so that that vote will come up in like another week or so. No point in doing it now because I haven't even thought at the time of recording. I haven't even thought of who I want to use. So, right, Genk want to? No, we're not. We're gonna just reject that offer straight up. Because I mean, this could also as well be the last season if we win the Champions League and the Premier League. Um, my goal is to win the Premier League and the Champions League. It doesn't have to be in the same season. But if it is in the same season, then it's going to be the end of the, end of the series. Uh, right, I'm going to use our second team for this. But we're going to... I'll, 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 I'll let you guys know what I'm doing closer to the time. Right. Chatham versus Everton. Let's quick simulate this one. See if we can go through. And we do... Iwobi, Keane and Sebastian de Villa getting on the score sheet. Absolutely brilliant. With Liverpool beating Chelsea and Sheffield United beating Watford. So what does that mean for us going forward? Let's take a look, shall we? Before we get into our final game of today's episode. <clears throat> it doesn't say anything. Yes, it does. We have Newcastle. Oh, look at this ember. Look how packed that is. Wow, okay. That's going to be a fun one. That one doesn't look so packed, even though there is actually six games, but there's also a international break. But uh, it's time to get into our final game of today's episode against uh, Leicester City. Fingers crossed we can pick up three points as we currently sat in fourth. And uh, just, just, yeah, we don't need to worry about that. So I will see you in the final game of the episode. Right then, so for this final time, this episode, let's take a look at the starting 11 for our, uh, our opponents. They've got Harvey Barnes and Perez out wide with Mbola, who is the league top scorer with 10 goals so far up front. Emery Chan, Daniel Pryat and Mendy um, in the middle with Cody, Haustenberg, Kabak and Pereira um, as the back four. And very Patricio in goal, very good sign from Leicester City from Wolves but we have a very strong starting 11 ourselves and we should fingers crossed get all three points I'll be honest it's taken me a few days to actually finish this episode off I've been very busy so each game that you've watched me that you've watched um, I've been like a day apart as we go for the first shot already and we almost scored the first goal but yeah it's been like about three days since I've started recording these episode, this episode so uh, yeah a bit weird but I'm hoping to be back on track soon um, and whatnot. But for now, let's just try and concentrate on this game. As seven minutes in, we get a corner. Can we convert this into a goal? For the Charlie Sun goes and head up. But unfortunately, nothing happens with it. Right, let's see if we can go ahead and get all three points. That was a terrible pass there. So Mbolo. Good uh, defensive block there. But nothing good there. Emery Chan. Emery Chan. And a goal it is. <sighs> ah, no. Leicester City take the lead after about 20 minutes. 
not what we wanted. Not at all. Emre Can is a very good player, to be fair to him, in a way. But, yeah. Should have defended that better. Look at that. We just left so much space for him. Dilip. Couldn't get to it, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, 22 minutes in. That's his fourth goal of the season. Well, the it's 1-0 to Leicester City. Let's see if we can try and turn this one around, shall we? The goal scoring record looks shaky to me. There we go. Play that wide to Daniel James. That's nice. Play it in towards Cunha. And headed in. Matthew Cunha. What a player he is. Oh, we Just the response we needed. Matthew Cunha getting his head to the ball. He's turned out to be a fantastic centre attack in mid. Great header. And uh, we finally find the equaliser, his third goal of the season. He can score as well as set them up. But uh, we need to try and find another goal to go ahead. But uh, 35 minutes in, roughly. And it's now 1 1. Nice little three ball to Cunha. Mathieu Cunha showing the strikers how it's done, I think. Our club captain as well. Oh, wee, what a play this lad is. I think, when did we get him? It's been a while since I've actually done a career mode episode. But I think it's been a good, like, 18 months, I think, maybe. But uh, a lovely goal. And that's his fourth goal of the season after 54 minutes. We're now 2 1 ahead. Mendy. And Didi. And Didi. And Bolo. Hmm. That's why he's the top scorer in the league. He's a poacher. Fox in the box. Oh, dear me. Okay. Good goal. It's now 2 2 with about 10 minutes to go. And um, Bolo gets his 11th goal of the season. James, Williams, oh, so we need, we have got the, we've got the better team here. No offence to Leicester, but we've got the better team here, and we should be getting all three points surely. But we've got about seven minutes to go, and uh, fingers so crossed we can find that goal to go ahead. And they, as they as I say that, they bring off Mbolo. It Might not be the right choice on their part. Now, We're definitely going to be losing ground on top here. four. We could actually be out of top four after this game if we're not careful. Come on, let's, let's keep hold of this point at least. And there we go. That, in my opinion, I think that's two points lost. That is two points lost. Maybe that's my fault for not playing the game straight away. But I've had things to do, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, I'm not happy with that whatsoever. I'm disappointed in myself. But uh, let's go to the hub and take a look at uh, the tables and everything and we'll find out what game to play in, in the next episode. Hopefully the next episode will be up the, the day after this one goes up. But I'm not too sure at the moment. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at the league table then. If it wants to load. Here we go. So then Premier League, where are you? There you are. We are currently sat in fourth. Just holding on to that top four. But we are now nine points behind Manchester City. Not what we want whatsoever. We're drawing too many games here. We really are. Oh dear. Let's have a look who's in the top in the bottom three. We've got Burnley, Leeds and Birmingham City. Yeah, somewhat realistic. No offence to you know to any of the, anyone that supports them teams. But yeah, the next episode, let's have a look. We've got Bruges, Southampton, Brighton, Dynamo Kiev, West Ham and Crystal Palace. Some easy games, really. So I think what we'll do, we'll sim the Champions League game against Dynamo Kiev. No, sorry, Club Bruges. Play the game against... Uh, yeah, play. So we'll sim the first game of the Champions League. Then we'll play the Southampton game. Sim the uh, Sim Brighton, Dino McKev and West Ham and then we'll play the Crystal Palace game and then we're into the busy schedule of December. Oh, that looks horrible. <laughs> that looks so horrible. 
But that, but the Zebra will be split into two parts anyway. But I'm going to leave this episode here. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all soon. Peace.